Well, bad weather just keeps contributing to a scrub December or a December full of scrubs. Keep an eye out for tonight around 5.05 p.m. Eastern Time this Thursday. Be on the lookout for Dragon to undock from the space station. After 39 days docked to the space station, the Dragon spacecraft supporting SpaceX's 29th commercial resupply mission for NASA will undock from the orbiting lab. But due to unfavorable weather at the splashdown locations, SpaceX is now targeting no earlier than this evening, and teams will continue to keep an eye on the weather. Firefly Aerospace also had to delay their launch of their Alpha rocket. It scrubbed on Wednesday due to inclement weather, so now it has been rescheduled for Friday, December 22nd at 9.18 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Firefly Aerospace says the rocket and payload remain healthy, and they're just waiting on Mother Nature, which we know can be frustrating. And this week has been full of activity down at Starbase. On Wednesday, we saw a static fire of Ship 28. And as of this recording, we are awaiting Booster 10's static fire, which should happen sometime before 8 p.m. on Thursday. Now, from the Flight 3 Starship 6 engine static fire yesterday, SpaceX shared more amazing photos, including some aerial video here, where SpaceX says Flight 3 Starship completed a full duration static fire with all six of its Raptor engines. So full duration with all six engines, pretty good. Here's a slow motion view of that six engine static fire. And we have to give a raise to whoever is working the drone down at Starbase. So again, our flight three combo is ship 28 and booster 10. And man, are they moving quickly. Now keep in mind this static fire of Ship 28 comes just one month after the second flight of Starship. We hope with this third flight that SpaceX will get further into their planned mission where Starship will ultimately make a controlled landing into the ocean north of Kauai. We know SpaceX is also looking to perform an in-space propellant transfer test but we'll see if that actually happens. And we know that SpaceX was looking to launch in December, but recently Kathy Leaders, who is SpaceX's general manager for Starbase, said the company will target the first quarter of next year for its third test flight. And according to Eric Berger with Ars Technica, since the second test flight occurred, neither the company nor SpaceX founder Elon Musk has provided a technical update on what ultimately went wrong with the Starship upper stage. You'll remember this failed a few minutes into the flight, and we still don't know why the booster was ultimately lost after it separated from the Starship vehicle. So once again, we are left to speculate. But keep in mind, far fewer modifications have been made to the rocket hardware or the launch site ahead of the third attempt. And Eric thinks this suggests that at least some of the problems may have been flight software related. And remember, we still have to get the green light from the FAA, so we still have yet to receive that regulatory approval for another Starship test flight. Of course, the FAA is doing an investigation, a mishap investigation after the second flight to ensure SpaceX complies with FAA approved mishap investigation plan. However, don't take the FAA doing an investigation as a surprise. This is all according to plan. So hopefully we do get a third test flight sometime in January. And I know many of you are awaiting the debut launch of ULA's Vulcan rocket. We have some photos of the astrobotic lunar lander. So this launch is targeted for January 8th, and here are some close-up photos of the first Vulcan encapsulation. Here's a photo ULA also shared saying, look at this beautiful fairing for a historic inaugural launch. I know that we were hoping that it would be on Christmas, but we'll just have to wait a little bit longer. Now, unfortunately, Spaceflight Now shared that we were not able to get any video of this payload fairing containing the lunar lander being lifted into position atop the Vulcan rocket due to ITAR restrictions. So we do get to see some photos of it, but we unfortunately can't see video. So I hope that you enjoyed today's SpaceX update and I really appreciate all of the support for my channel. It is crazy that Christmas is just a few days away. So I hope that you get to really enjoy time with your loved ones and just be ready because 2024 is going to be a crazy year for space.